Hi there, Dominic here with a video about the slide tool in Modo. Now I've made a video about the slide tool again, but I feel that I did not cover it very well, so I'm making a new video and let's dive in. So I'm going to vertice mode, select a vertice, right click on it and set it to slide. First I'm going to set everything to default, control D to reset everything, so by default the mode is radial and now when I click and drag in the viewport it slides on that edge. When I click and drag in the video I'm over here with my cursor so when I start clicking and dragging the cursor disappears and also with Cam Studio my cursor isn't always visible as the way it should so that's a bit of a problem but you see in mode radial clicking and dragging results in this behavior when mode radial. Control Z to undo. Now when I set it to linear then I get these handles, if you don't see them, click in the viewport and they will appear. And this is pretty straightforward when I want it to go over there. I can use the blue handle like that, Control Z, or over here, Control Z, the red handle over here, Control Z, and like that, Control Z. But what I didn't show you in the first video is that you can also drag the middle part of the handles. You see, when I hover over it, it highlights yellow and then I just simply click, left click and drag in the desired direction. So now I'm sliding over there, control Z, now I'm sliding over there, control Z. Now why is this useful? Well in this instance it's pretty straightforward. I have one edge and four edges, uh, one vertex I mean, and four edges like that and then it's pretty straightforward. You see the handles when I drag this one, I'm going over there. But I'm going to drop the tool and I'm going to sh select these vertices, press Ctrl L to select them, uh, to join them, and again these vertices, Ctrl L, and I have this right now. When I select this vertex and right click on it and set it to slide, now click in the viewport. Uh, when I drag the left, uh, the red one, and the blue one I get this, the green one I get this. So what if I wanted to slide on this edge? Well, then I choose the middle crosshair or cube until it highlights and drag it in that direction. So this is important one that I missed in the previous video. You can select the center and then drag it into the desired direction like that. Now interpolation is percent and you can see over here you have feedback so you see now it's 0.5 percent Control Z. I can also have that feedback in my viewport when I go to the tool pipe and set in the V column right click and set my tool to advanced now when I click and drag you see I have my percentage feedback in the viewport Control Z to undo and I can set it to distance and then I get a distance feedback, control Z to undo, distance feedback, control Z to undo. And now if I want to first for instance do this and now select this vertex, now in this state I have to drop my tool, make a selection, right click, slide, click in the viewport and now I can slide again. But when I go to my tool pipeline, right click on the tool and set it to select through, so right click on it again, you see now select through has been checked. Now I can simply make selections while the tool is active and drag them in the desired direction, just like that, without having to drop the tool, make a new selection, make the tool active again, click in the viewport, all in one go. So the slide tool, very useful when you set it to select through, just like that. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? We have merge vertices and stop at edges. So with merge with stop at edges, when I select this vert and drag to there, I cannot go beyond it. Well, the widget goes beyond it, but the vert actually has stopped over here. When I say when I turn this off. Now when I click and drag, you see I can go behind it, uh, 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 beyond it, and you see that that polygon is being distorted because there are now multiple polygons overlapping. So stop at edges is a feature that most of the time you want to be 
checked and it doesn't seem to work when I do it like that. It does normally. Maybe it's a bug or something, but anyway, I've checked stop at edges. Make a new selection, maybe. And see. Yep, now it stops. It was probably because that it is set to select through. Now, when I do it, I cannot. Yeah, I cannot go beyond it. So sometimes when you do something like select through, it's to your advantage if you start over to first select a new one and then select the old one that you wanted to do. Now when I click and drag, you see the third cannot go beyond that edge. And when I set merge vertices, not only does it not go beyond that edge, it also gets merged when I drop the tool. So when I press the tab key, you see right now over here, status feedback, only one edge. Okay, make the tool active again, slide tool. I can set it to duplicate, and when duplicate is on, you can specify a number of segments. So when I click and drag over here, you see I have one extra edge, a uh, vertex I mean, and when I set the number of segments, you see there are vertices in between that are being added, like that. So I'm going to turn duplicate off, just sliding like that. Preserve curvature. I can check this and give it attention, so when I drag it and set this for instance to zero, you get a different tension with preserve curvature on or off. But often it's not really necessary because most of the time you really want to just slide, but on a curved surface like this it can become useful with the tension that it preserves the curvature. Okay, I've dropped the tool. All of this you can also do, of course, in edges mode. So right click, slide. By default, again, set to radial. First, I'm going to set this to basic and deselect set through. So radial. Now I can click anywhere in the viewport, click and drag, and I have duplicates on right now. And by default, the loop slide is on, so you see this is what you get, and most of the time this is what you want. And again, when I set duplicates on, uh, I have 20 duplicates right now, which is a lot. It duplicates everything. And again, stop at edges and merge vertices. When I want my percent to show up over here, I can go to the V column in the tool pipe, right click and set it to advanced. Now, when I click and drag, I don't get a feedback, but when I set it, for instance, to select through, I get the red handles. No, I don't get a feedback with the edges in the viewport. Maybe when I select one slide, and maybe duplicates off. No, I don't get a feedback. Just when you select it with an edge slide, now you see with the tool set to advanced, I have my feedback in the viewport, but with edges, slides, apparently there is no feedback. Then you have to look over here to see how much you are dragging like that. The rest of the settings is actually the same. Uh, of course, I can also go to linear with edges, and then I can drag the yellow crosshairs just like with vertices or I can drag the handles but often when using edges you'll just use it in a straightforward way just like that slide mode to radial like that and with select through I can make a new selection it lets me work very fast just like that, and of course, preserve curvature. And we also have profiles. Uh, I'm going to control Z to undo a couple of times to get back to my original mesh. Should have made a copy. So another important tip if you are working on a piece of geometry, it's best to make copies and go to a new layer 
so you don't have to undo everything if you make a mistake um, okay so what I wanted to show you is in edges mode so select these edges right click and slide or here we have profiles I can when I duplicate and for instance with 20 segments and choose a profile and now click and drag you see I can slide with the profile this is also often you're not going to do with the slide tool but because you can also do that with the bevel tool but in a way with the slide tool you can and then with profile attributes you can reverse direction reverse the insets so all different possibilities with the slide tool keep aspect keep aspect is best checked on if you want a profile so control click to deselect the profile so close this and uh, turn off duplicates so you see you can use profiles with the slide tool so I think I've uh, covered most of what I've wanted to cover through the slide tool remember you can set it to select through and then I can make a selection drag make a new selection shift select that one drag uh, which let's is mo uh, much faster than having to select uh, activate the tool dropping the tool make a new selection activating the tool again so select through lets you easily do multiple slides with one active tool uh, when the mode is set to linear remember then with these handles you can drag these handles but you can also choose the middle side and then you can choose yourself which direction you want to drag it into and then I think I've covered most of it there was one thing that I also wanted to show you uh, you can also do a slide with the move tool uh, when you go to your action center and set the action center to element and now when I make a selection a vert for instance and press W for the move key for the move tool now when I click on this edge now my handles have been aligned to that edge so when I drag it over here it's like I'm sliding Control Z to undo maybe I can set it also set it to select through and now no this does not work select through uh, so for instance to that edge and now I get a different kind of tool which is kind of sliding but it's just moving with an action center element so I could also choose this one but often that's not very to, to your advantage because now I'm going to drag in a completely different direction so drop the tool select this third W click on this edge and now I am sliding with the move tool so just wanted to show you that it's also possible with that one and for instance when I want to go over here right now like that and over here click on that edge like so so sliding with the move tool and action center set to element so this was Dominic hope you enjoyed it bye for now